That with a newborn babe, with a new Christian, glory to God, amen, the enemy can try certain things, and because they're still young in their Christian faith, they might keep falling, praise God, falling down and down, amen, over uh, concerning whatever it may be, amen, time and time again, until they grow up and learn how to overcome. But he says, when you should be teachers, you have need that somebody else teach you. Right. Come on now. Glory to God. We all have a responsibility yeah. as believers to be accountable to teach somebody else. Amen. You don't have to be a pastor, an evangelist, right. a prophet, come on right, now, right. a deacon, an elder or a minister, come on now, to be in a role of teaching. All of us in this room tonight, in this church tonight, amen, God has given us, praise God, he's given us, amen, what you call influence. Amen. Whether you want to accept it or not, right, right. we all, amen, have the ability to influence others by what we say and by what we do. Amen. Amen. That is another form of what? Teaching. Right. I can teach by somebody just simply watching me. Right. And then I can teach by verbalizing, glory to God, what needs to be said in order for them to learn. But whether it's verbally or where it's quietly, glory to God, somebody is all you, you, you and I are always teaching somebody by what we say and what we do. Yeah. And these believers, amen, the writer of Hebrews says, he says, praise God, you all have been saved, these Jewish Christians. Amen, they were Jewish Christians, glory to God. And he says, you, have, you all have been saved long enough, praise God, that, amen, you should be excited and motivated, glory to God, to teach and show somebody, out, somebody else the ways of Christ. But instead of them seeing the ways of Christ flowing out of your life, glory to God, they see the total opposite. Amen. And that's a shame, amen, for people who have been saved for a good long time, amen, and people who are not saved, and people who are spirit, amen, even newborn babe Christians, amen, look at our lives, and yet we can't show them or teach them the right things because, amen, our lives are in, in, is contrary to what should be seen. You need, you have a need that won't teach you again. Oh, are you getting something so far? Amen. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Look what he says. But strong meat belonging to them that are full age. Yes. Let me say something right there. But strong meat, strong spiritual food yes. belongs to them who are mature, which means of full age. Right. See, as you grow in God, as you develop in God, as you mature in God, you want the deeper things of God. You want more than the ABCs. So, oh, glory. As you grow in God and develop in God, you want more than a good shot. Yes. You want more than a good prophecy. Mm -hmm. We have many and plenty of prophecy junkies. Right. Come on. Yes, sir. They only want to come to church when they hear that the out-of-town prophet is in town because I want a word. I want him to call my name. I want him to know or her to know my social security number. I want them to see something good. Tell me something that's great and fantastic. Glory to God. And I'll be just all caught up. Right, right. Come on. That's just for a moment. Right. Come on. Come on. <laughs> that's an immature believer. Right, right. Because mature believers understands that we can open up God's word on a daily basis and say, Lord, give me this day your daily bread. And as you give me your daily bread, you're going to speak by way of the Holy Spirit as I read and study your word, my God. You're going to give me fresh oil, fresh manna. Yes, amen. Somebody say it can be found in the word. It can be found in the word. Mature believers understand, glory to God, the importance, glory to God, of being faithful, dedicated, and committed Amen. to Christ. Amen. Strong meat belong to them that are full age. Amen. To them who are mature. And to them that have the ability, glory to God, to distinguish between good and evil. Thank God for spiritual growth 
and thank God for spiritual maturity. Praise God. I want to grow and I want to go. I want to go and I want to grow. See, when you're growing, praise God, spiritually, hallelujah, praise God, that means you're not stagnant. It means you're not stuck, glory to God. But it means, glory to God, that you are yet motivated. You are yet activated to say, God, what's the next thing on the agenda? What's the next thing you have for me to do? I'm not going to sit around and just wait, but I'm going to make my car. I'm going to get up and I'm going to make it happen myself. Because faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And as I read your word, your word is going to be on my faith. Your word is going to speak clearly and precisely to me. And even when I don't understand, your word will give me guidance and direction so that I will be able to do what you call me to do. Yeah. 